Are you listening? Damn. The best way to start off this episode of Trash Talk is with a story. So we're going to flash back to when I was in third grade. You know, a kid named Matthew had just tripped and fell. I thought it was hilarious. You know, pretty funny. I couldn't stop laughing about it. He stands up and he's angry at the fact that I was laughing, you know. So as I am walking away, still laughing, he cocks back he cocks back his right hand and he punches me right in the back. I mean, it didn't really hurt too bad, you know. I mean, we're kids, you know, he probably he didn't hit that hard, but even as a kid, you your pain receptors are a little bit different, you know. Uh I but I remember mostly just feeling disrespected. Like he just hit me. I turned back around and I clocked this motherfucker so hard, so hard and so bad. I mean, granted, we're kids. I didn't knock him out or anything, you know, uh, but he was crying. He was bawling his eyes out, crying, 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 crying. Teacher runs over and asks us what happened. You know, he starts crying. He's crying. You know, he tells him that I hit him in his face. Yes, I did do that. But he neglects to tell the teacher that he actually hit me first, you know, and Then once it gets explained to the teacher, okay, we're both wrong. Neither one of us should be hitting each other, you know, and and she was right. But at the end of that encounter, all that came from that is this kid just wanted to punish me. He wanted to hit me. He wanted to hurt me. He was not ready for a fight. He did not want to fight. He wanted to inflict damage because he felt disrespected or what have you. But he was 100% not ready to fight. He just wanted to I don't know, inflict some pain because he felt disrespected or what have you. Now, that is one of those things that translates into adulthood. You know, there's still guys today that get mad and they feel like they're justified in hitting you because they're mad, but they're not actually looking for a fight. They just want you to know, hey, you fucked up and I'm mad at you now and here's your punishment. Boom. You know, but they're not actually ready for the fight. (laughs) And that that's the funny thing, you know, why do people feel like they are the ones to, I don't know, uh, to decide how somebody is punished, you know, or just because you're mad, you feel like you have the right to hit them, you know. Now, that's a little bit different than uh, where I'm going at with this story, you know, because I kind of see the same thing in the fight game. There's a lot of guys in the fight game that don't actually want to fight. They want to beat people up. They want to show off their skills, prove to everybody that they're a badass, you know. I mean, and I guess there's not anything wrong with that, you know. I mean, if you want to go out there and display your skills, go out there and display your skills, you know. But the thing is, is that there's there's different types of guys in this sport where the guys that just want to beat people up are going to ask their coaches for the best possible matchup. And usually when they're asking for the best possible matchup, they want a guy who looks good on paper, but they know that they can beat. They don't want to fight anybody that might be a risk to them losing, but they have to keep up the persona of knowing that this guy could be a threat because he's done this before. But when you analyze this guy, you think of it as there's no way you could lose, you know, and those are the guys that enjoy beating people up and enjoy being seen dominating and uh, displaying their skills. Now, when it comes to a fighter, like the guys who are actually in this game to fight people and are down for that fight, anytime that they somebody makes them mad or laughs at them, they go back and punch that person. They're ready for that person to punch back and they're ready for whatever plays out after that fact. You know, they're ready to scrap. Now, the guys that are ready to scrap usually have a different mindset when they come into the game. You know, they want to test the waters a little bit, some of them, just to see, you know, am am I actually good enough for this game? But then somewhere along the lines where, you know what, this guy, he could probably beat me. I want to fight him because after I beat him, everybody has to respect me now. And that's a little bit different when it, the difference between the the two mindsets of the fighters, you know, the guys who want to beat people up and the guys who actually want to fight. And that's just, that, that's what I believe the difference is, you know, and there's a lot of different philosophies on like what, what a real fighter is and all those things, you know, and uh, what martial arts is and stuff like that. Granted, 
uh, martial arts is the, I mean, a lot of martial arts will teach you to have respect, self-respect, discipline, and all those things, you know, and those are great aspects to have as a person, especially growing up, you know, uh, I mean, those are all things that we should have, you know, but at the end of the day, we're learning these martial arts. I mean, at least for me, I was learning martial arts, not to become a martial artist. I was learning martial arts so I could fight you with these martial arts. You know, I want to learn this art form and fight people with it. I don't want to. Are you listening? Damn.